Okay, welcome to Simple Object Motion with Physics and No Friction. Um, if you're just getting started, make sure you check out the Object Motion template, which explains the basis for all the code that we're going to be doing. Um, in this installment, we're going to be learning how to make kind of realistic uh, spaceship type motion. So in this case, we've got a spaceship floating in space, blue space for some reason, and I can rotate. Okay, now if I push the up arrow, I'm going to accelerate. Okay, and more accelerate. Now if I turn, notice that turning doesn't change the direction. Okay, so it's kind of realistic spaceship physics for the most part. I mean, it's not perfect, but for our purposes, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so you can see how it keeps moving and, and all that sort of thing. So let's uh, take a look here. So what we have to do in our heads is we have to think about how things move and, and how we can code that. So in previous tutorials we used speed, but here we're going to use thrust, which is the power of the engine. Now there's no special reason why I used one, it was just an experiment. I could have done three, which would have made it move really, really fast. But it's just one of those things you have to play around with the numbers to get you know, what you want. dx is our change in x, so that's basically our x speed. So positive moves us to the right, negative moves us to the left dy is our change in y or delta y and that positive makes us move up in the up direction negative makes us move down on the screen so in our move method we don't use forward or anything like that what we do is we use go to and so what we do is we go to our current x coordinate our current x location plus our dx so if our x speed let's call it say our delta x is plus one, so my x coordinate's 100, it'll be 101, then 102, 103 every time it goes through, okay? Because this keeps changing uh, by that amount. Same thing, now if it was negative, it would move to the left. Same thing with y coordinate, uh, positive moves it up, negative moves it down. Okay, so it's pretty simple. So you're saying going, go to where we are plus our change in x plus our change in y. Turning left is the same as before, we just basically rotate. Okay. But because rotation doesn't change our dx, it doesn't change our dy, the spaceship keeps moving in whatever direction it was already moving in. Okay. Now this is where the math gets a little complicated. Okay, so we use a function called accelerate. Okay. And this is just something, uh, actually a guy on an airplane taught me this because I didn't know how to do it myself. Um, so what we've got to do is we take the heading, and I would call that h. So I get the current heading. So if I'm in zero, zero is to the right, 90 is up, 180 is to the left, and 270 is down. Uh, these are po called polar coordinates. So what we got to do is the dx. So if, if we're heading in a certain direction, the dx and dy are calculated using these formulas. So it's cosine uh, math dot cosine uh, h heading times math dot pi, which is pi divided by 180 times our thrust. So how much of our thrust do we want to give to uh, the, the x and the y, the, the delta x and delta y. Notice I used math, so I had to import math up here at the top, very important. So if you get an error, you maybe didn't import math. And that's it. So basically this function changes our dx and our dy. Okay. This func these two functions change our heading, and this function actually moves the ship. And then down here in our main game loop, player.move. So if you looked at the previous tutorials, this has never changed. Okay? Because we're using classes, the only code that changes is our class code. And then we could have multiple instances if we wanted. Now this is the player, so we only have one instance. But uh, we could have multiple instances if we wanted to. So that is that. Um, again, the coding's not too complex, but the, the physics and the math is, is a little bit if you're not familiar with that kind of stuff. That's it. So stay tuned for future installments.